Hello everyone, hello and welcome to the 81st episode of Tuesdays with Toby. My name is Toby Frierson and oh my gosh, look behind me. Look at this incredible view. Look at these buildings, look at this beautiful sun. And you know, I've gotta show you the water. Yes, there's water in this episode. And there's also a cargo ship. Come on cargo ship, don't fail me. Don't fail me. There we go, folks. There we go, and we have a cargo ship behind us. We are live from New Orleans, Louisiana. We're in NOLA. Um, this is such a gorgeous city. Today we're gonna take a walking tour of the French Quarters. So I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like, some of the sights, some of the sounds. Um, and behind me is the St. Louis Cathedral. What a gorgeous city so far. All right, everybody, we are approaching the um, Armstrong uh, Park here, and there's a section called the Congo area. We have been told that um, native New Orleans come out here on Sundays and they will drum. And so you can see the park there behind me. We're approaching, we can actually already hear drums a little bit. So let's go in here and let's see what's going on. All right, we made it to the Louis Armstrong Park and just like I thought, uh, there's a drum circle going on behind us. So here we go, here's a little bit of it. Uh, but if you did that uh, or allowed it to do that right next to the city, we'd have a serious flooding problem. So uh, I am in the middle of my walking tour of the French Quarter and we came down to the Mississippi River. I let you all hear a little bit of that and here it is. It will never disappoint guys. Anytime I go to a port city, my cargo ship is coming for me. Here it is. I just had to let you guys see it. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful day in New Orleans y'all. Very uh, iconic. Uh, example of how these buildings are structured in the French Quarter. Uh, you usually have a carriageway going through the middle of the building, so you can bring your carriage in off the street and park in the middle. Uh, and then you have this big open courtyard open to the sky in the very, very middle of the block. Uh, this is the oldest building not only in New Orleans, but in the entire valley of the Mississippi River, all the way up and down. Uh, and it is the Ursuline Convent, originally constructed in 1734. Uh, they got here, the Ursuline nuns, a little bit earlier than that in 1727. Uh, and they're kind of an interesting group of people because they were some of the first people to come to New Orleans by tourist. Uh, down here, all these buildings were old and so they were crumbling to bits and it ended up being the cheapest real estate in town because of that. So new immigrants to the city um, and starving artists uh, were the two main people who wanted to live in the French. So um, this was really unexpected. I uh, finally got to my hotel after touring around the city, which was fantastic. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, the conference that I'm here for starts tomorrow and I'm, um, I'm presenting at the conference. And this is my first time ever presenting at like an ACT conference, if you will. Um, ACT, SAT, the aptitude test you have to take uh, to go to college. And so um, maybe they do things a little bit differently because I've presented at conferences before but this showed up at the door just now like somebody knocked on the door and they were like an amenity delivery i was like mm -mm, i'm not opening this door i don't know anybody here well i do know somebody here but check it out this is what was at the door this is a cafe Dumont beignet kit along with a coffee mug like take home beignets toby learn how to make them yourself that's what this is so i'm assuming this is from the act Thank you guys, I should open the card. I was just so surprised that there was a knock at the door just now. Um, and I've got this whole little cool gift, gift little bag. And it is absolutely from the ACT. It's just a little thank you note. Handwritten too. Nice touch y'all, nice touch. Hey, hey, hey everybody. So it is day two of being in New Orleans. And yesterday um, uh, on my tour, well, the tour that we went on together because I showed you guys everything. I met a delightful lady named Deanna and we hit it off right away. She was uh, taking the tour by herself. I was taking the tour by myself. And then there was like two or three other families on the tour. So she and I started walking together and chatting and it led to, um, well, it led to a lot. Uh, we have a lot of commonalities. Um, and she actually invited me out for breakfast this morning. So we, I am at uh, Molly's, here's Molly, here we go. I am at Molly's on Magazine Street. Those of you who know New Orleans, um, maybe the, this is a spot you've come to before, but it's a really cute, quaint spot. And I wanted to take you guys inside and show you Molly's really quickly while I wait for Deanna to come join me. Oh, and the conference starts today. Um, there I am. 
Such a cute little place. So cute. Walked up on a little arts district here uh, on Frenchman, so let's go through and show you some of the uh, vendors. It's time for music. It is time for a brass band. I am on the world famous Frenchman Street, as you can see behind me here. And uh, it's a Sunday night, so sights and sounds look a little bit different, maybe. Um, there's a, a Willie's Famous Chicken Shack. I actually ate there for lunch today. Um, and just the streets just lined with music venues. Maybe you can hear some of the music right now, but I'm definitely gonna take you inside of DBA. That's the venue I'm going in, and it's kind of right behind me, right back there. So that was DBA. I don't even know what DBA stands for. And that was the Treme Brass Band. Now we're coming up on the iconic Spotted Cat. Um, and I don't know what the music vibe is in here tonight. It sounds like it's a little bit more like chill. Uh, I'll go in here and let you guys hear a little bit if there's not a cover. There was a cover in that last spot, but here's the Spotted Cat. So everybody in an unexpected twist, uh, the style of brass band that I was looking for was found right here, right behind me. Um, the Blue Nile, OMG, that band inside is rocking. I don't know their name. I'm gonna get back to the room and try to Google Blue Nile schedule so I can find out their name and see if they're gonna be performing while I'm still in the city. Unbelievable. Let me show you some clips of what I just heard in the Blue Nile. That is what I was looking for tonight. here in New Orleans I've been trying to be intentional about uh, supporting black owned restaurants and I found one tonight Ni House, if I'm saying that right um, it's got some really cool like artwork and artifacts uh, the meal was absolutely delicious um, I'm sure Lil Wayne's up here somewhere I didn't even know he was from New Orleans he is but um, yeah, this is really fantastic. Uh, this restaurant was delicious. I did have a cup of gumbo. Um, I put the shrimp off to the side, guys. I'm not a shrimp eater. And then I had one of their pasta dishes. It was absolutely fantastic. Hey guys, first of all, you're not gonna believe who I'm with. This is a blast hey. from the past. This is Daniel. Uh, Daniel and I got our masters together at Columbia College back in 2015. Yeah. Yeah, and he is bringing me to get my first po' boy ever. I've never had a po' boy. He says these are good. And so we are at Park Way. So it's a really cool looking place here. We're gonna go inside and uh, wait, if the Pope boy looks anything like that, I'm ready. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at this. All right, guys. So it was an extensive menu. It took me a minute to kind of figure it all out. But uh, here we are. We're gonna settle on um, the Italian Capri Po' Boy. Uh, I'll get this. It's got chicken on it. Um, I was not gonna do the alligator sausage. Um, <laughs> And uh, no shrimp for me, but uh, yeah, I'm about to go up here to the counter and oh yeah, and you got to get it dressed. So you get a po' boy and I'll get it dressed, which means right here, lettuce, tomato, pickles and mayo. This restaurant is super cool. It's got so much character. Oh man, so much character. I cannot wait to show you guys my po' boy. Cannot wait.
So apparently there's a hat that you wear when you come to Parkway. Um, so here we go. We're embracing all the things. How come I don't see anybody else wearing this hat, Daniel? Like, there's, there's, there's nobody else doing this. I'm not messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> Is this real? Is this really a thing? <laughs> okay. So everyone, my, um, oh yeah, get the hat. So my poor boy just came out. We're, we're pretty concerned. Is this what it looks like? But it's supposed to be a sandwich. Um, but I'm not sure I can eat that as a sandwich. Let me give you a better view. But it's here. This is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, I'm gonna take my first bite of a po' oh boy. This it looks you enormous in your hand. This is how you do New Orleans. Mm. How about that? <laughs>